Hi guys and welcome to another Divi tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well we put together this little one page scrolling site in about 20 minutes using the Divi theme. Um, really easy to do. Then in the last video we added an extra page to it. The About Me page right here. Which actually takes you to a new page. And there was a question on this video and it was a very good question. Once you're on the About Me page, these links won't work because the sections are all on the home page there. So what we need to do is get these to work on both pages. So let's go back to the home page and it's really easy to do. Let's go to our menu structure. And here's our links that we did. We gave them CSS IDs. For instance, my story is hashtag story, resume is hashtag res or something like that, resume. We need to make these full URLs. So in other words, we need to have the website name, the page name in front of them where it's going to go, which is the home name. And the easiest way to do that is just keep your page open like this. Go to this one. And if you look down here, I'm using Google Chrome, so it shows you the link down there. You can simply copy the link address and it will be the full link address. paste it in there and as you can see it's got the the site name and the page name and the actual link to the section that we want to go to now mine's offline I'm building this locally on my computer uh, if you want to learn how to do that with WordPress there's a link down below uh, yours may be HTTP www.yourdomain.com and the name of your site and then the hashtag so if you copy these I may as well get the rest of them while we're here my story resume recent work gallery And let's see, contact. Yep, that's on the same page. The About Me is a separate page. Contact. And now we've got those full URLs in there. We can put your you can put your About Me wherever you want. And we'll save our menu. Go back to our site. Let's refresh the page. There's one more thing we're going to want to do after we've done this. Because as you can see, the links are now all highlighted. Because we've got the same page name for each of these, it thinks that's the active link. So what I'm going to go do in a minute is go into the customizer and just change the active link color to the same as the regular link. That's the best way to do it for this situation. Now we know all these are going to work on the same page because we've tested them. So let's now go to the about me page, which was the additional page. Now we're here and let's try one of these links now and it should take us to my story. As you can see, it's taken us to the front page and it's taken us straight down to my story. So that's a way to fix that. That was a very good question. And what I'll do now is I'll go into the customizer. And I'm going to go up to the header and navigation. This is our primary menu up here. Here's the active link color we, we set when it was just a one page site. So we can go in there and I can either copy this cover color for the text color and paste it in. Let's put this one in here. Publish it. And one last thing, because it's a one page scrolling site just get out of here and go to our Divi options 
I'm going to go down to Divi, Theme Options. I'm going to roll down, and you've got all these sliders right here, these, these switches. And there's one here called Back to the Top button. I'm going to enable the Back to the Top button. And we are good to go. We just need to go down, save the changes, or if you go up to the top, there's a Save button at the top as well. Once they're saved, let's go back to our page and refresh. And as you can see, all our links are a similar color now. And again, let's go to our About Me page. Make sure everything's still going to work. And when we scroll down a little bit, we've got that Back to the Top button. Check that our links are still going to work. So let's go to Resume this time. It'll take us to the home page again and down to the Resume section. So there you go. That's the way to fix that. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.